Oh, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Amuna Project. We at the Amuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to information, uh, education, inspiration, guidance, advice. And I am reminded of a conversation I had a little while ago with a very perceptive young lady. And uh, she and I were discussing uh, how Moses, how, why Moses, when he went up to Mount Sinai to receive um, the Torah, he says he remained there 40 days and 40 nights, neither ate bread nor drank water. And um, because of this, he, um, he got the benefit of um, receiving the Torah, and the Torah Sashem, the, the Torah of God, uh, became the Torah Moshe, the, the Torah of Moses. We refer to the Torah as the books, the five books of Moses. We don't call them the five books of God, we call them the five books of Moses. And so the self-sacrifice, this, um, this um, not eating for 40 days and 40 nights was on uh, behalf of the Torah him getting the Torah, right? Not so fast, I said. Um, uh, it says that, um, it says in Midrash Tanchom, and in fact, because of this uh, mysterious nefesh, because of the self-sacrifice, he did, uh, um, uh, the Torah is called uh, Torah Moshe. Um, but this act of um, acquisition, this, uh, how, did it, how did he get it to become his? Um, yes, it was the not eating for 40 days and 40 nights. But um, I offered a slightly different interpretation. It wasn't my own. It was uh, Harav Baruch Mordechai Zerachi, who says that the not eating for 40 days and not drinking for 40 days and 40 nights um, it wasn't so much that he did it for the Torah. He did it for derech eretz. He did it for um, proper manners. Because when he was in the company of God, when he was in the company of the angels, out of respect for the angels who do not eat and drink, he thought it would be rude and unseemly to eat and drink in the presence of his hosts. He, uh, it was derech eretz. It was... It was manners, it was etiquette, to which the very perceptive young lady blurted out, you have got to be kidding. And I says, no. Rav Baruch Mordechai Azrahi says, um, that's exactly why it was. His, his good character, his humility, his sensitivity, for others to not appear rude, uh, to not appear unmannerly. That little thing, not to eat in front of people who aren't, who don't eat, not to drink in front of uh, things that don't drink, that kindness, that sensitivity, the humility, that's how he earned the Torah. That's how he earned uh, Torah's Moshe. And um, she kind of rolled her eyes and I reminded her of the great saying, uh, which, of course, is Derech Eretz Chad Torah. Proper manners, etiquette, good manners, comes before Torah. If someone is a Torah scholar, if someone gets knowledge and all sorts of uh, uh, scholarly achievements, but is a boor, is rude, is mean, is disrespectful, that is a terrible thing. That's a Hillel Hashem. That's, a, that's a, a desecration of God's name. But when a person learns Torah, is a good, righteous person, and at the same time is kind and mannerly and generous and thoughtful and uh, a loving husband and a kind and devoted father, then he's a mensch. That then he deserves the title um, of a mensch, which is, of course, the greatest, uh, the greatest thing that, uh, that any uh, person uh, can be called in the Jewish world. To, be called some, to call someone a mensch 
that hits the heights. Um, when we inherit the Torah, when we learn the Torah, we have to also <clears throat> we have to also take within ourselves that has it has to change our behavior. It has to make us better people. It has to make us sensitive and and uh, empathetic. To learn all Torah, all this Torah knowledge, to learn all these things, and remain an Amara, it's a boor. Um, it's a terrible thing. Let it change your character. As you learn, let it make you a better person. Um, be like um, be like Moshe Rabbeinu. Be like Moses. Um, you win the Torah. Sure, for the sake of Torah. Yes, for all these things. But sometimes a little thing like just simple manners, good proper manners, politeness. Sometimes that, uh, that wins the day. Uh, we're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. I hope you're finding them of uh, some use and some value. And until next time, on behalf of the Amuna Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.